The hydrostatic pressure, it's simply the water table rising and it's trying to squeeze into that house. It's what keeps boats afloat. It's the buoyancy of your home. So we have, you know, a high water table as it is. And, you know, as the, it starts raining and raining and raining, the water table rises. So it actually encapsulates the foundation on the outside of it. Water's always gonna follow the path of least resistance and everything always goes from what more to less. It's gonna try to squeeze in, otherwise it's gonna try to pop your house out of the ground. When a house lifts a little bit, because you have some hydrostatic pressure, it can actually make the foundation crack a little bit, or it can actually find like a natural weak spot in that foundation to start working in. When we build a house, we pour the slab. Well, you normally leave gaps around it, plus you're saw cutting or you're leaving an expansion joint going down it, so it's already cracked. Water already has a chance for it to come in there. So, you know, we start seeing water pop up around the side or right in the middle of the floor. Whether we're installing dry track, which is the above the floor system, or water guard, which is the below the floor system, we figure out the appropriate amount of sump pumps, whether it's the super sump or the triple safe, because some homeowners may or not want to keep it dry all the time. With our super sump, it doesn't have battery backups and there's no redundancy in it. Battery backups are there to take care of if the power goes out. I know it's not really a word, but we say it can never not fail. That's our triple safe. A lot of our homeowners, they understand the investment in that type of protection because it really, at the end of the day, it's all an insurance policy.